Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how you can do correlations with stock prices. So correlations can be useful if you wanna to try to find patterns or if you're investing, you wanna look at stocks that aren't related to each other. So not gonna move in the same direction or maybe even the opposite direction. You want them completely unrelated if you you know wanna to, want to diversify, minimize risk. So I've downloaded the, the ticker symbols for Pfizer, Procter & Gamble, Tesla, ExxonMobil and alphabet here and so we've got their stock prices over the past year and so anytime you're doing a correlation you want to make sure that you've got the same data set covering the same same time frame and so you're comparing the same thing so in excel there is a function called core corel which gives you the correlation so if i just wanted to look at the correlation between pfizer and procter and gamble for instance I could just compare their their prices like that and that tells me you know 0.94 uh, correlation which is which is which is very strong you know if I want to do the same thing between let's say Exxon Mobil and and Tesla which wouldn't expect to be anything remotely similar I get 0.19 so that tells me they're not um, not correlated at all or not there's not a strong connection at all there now if you you know you could do um, use this function the Corel function but it's kind of inefficient because you know you'd be doing one at a time um, another thing you can do is Excel has a data analysis add-in where you can do correlations and one way that you can enable that is if you go to the developer tab if you don't have this you can go to the Excel options, normally file and info, and you can select which uh, uh, which parts of the ribbon you see, and you can tick off developer, or you can just go under um, under the add-ins, and actually this one is should actually be under the Excel add-ins, and there's one for data analysis. If I hit OK, now if I go back under the data tab, there's this data analysis option here. So if I click on this, now it's going to give me an option to to do a much uh, much broader correlation covering multiple multiple stocks here. So if I select correlation from the analysis tools and hit OK, now what it's going to do is ask me for my input range, and so my data is grouped in in columns because I've got all the different stocks in, in columns. My input range is it's going to be these selections. I don't need to include the date because the date I'm not relating to these prices. I, I the dates merely as as a placeholder so I know um, you know what it relates to. But I'm not actually needing to use that in my in my correlation. I'm going to check off the option that says labels in the first row because that's exactly what I have. I have these different labels, um, different ticker symbols. And then the last option is for the output. So I can specify a range or I can just leave it to the default and use a new worksheet ply. I don't want to open up a whole new workbook for this. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now it's going to create all the different uh, correlations. So I've got my correlation matrix in here. So just like that, you know, I can quickly see in a snapshot the different correlations between Pfizer and all these different other stocks. Again, you could have accomplished this by using that Corel function, but by doing uh, it through the data analysis add-in, you know, makes it a bit easier. And I can put these into into percentages, let's say. So if I wanted to uh, show them a bit easier, you know, you could do something like um, apply some conditional formatting. So if you wanted to add some perhaps some color scales or something to show, okay, where the where the large correlation, where the strong correlations are, where the small ones are. So that gives you a, a way to have a bit of a snapshot at, at, this, at this data set. So the one correlation that you can notice off the bat is that ExxonMobil doesn't have a very strong correlation to any one of these, any one of these stocks, but um, you know, it, but, you know, Pfizer and Procter Gamble have a fairly strong one. And so there's a lot of different ways that, um, you know, you can, you can interpret the data and uh, a correlation matrix like this makes it a whole lot easier to, to do that. 
And so that's in a nutshell how you can do a correlation matrix in Excel using stock prices in this example. Hope you found this video useful and uh, thanks for watching.